안녕하세요. Welcome to my house tour. Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode on my channel. And today, if you read the title and you came in, I will be revealing our house to you. This is sort of like my dream house. In the sense that um, the color tone, the interior, and where I want the furniture to be sort of 99.9% .9 end up up the way that I want it to. And I'm really, really excited to show you the rest of the place. But firstly, I just wanted to explain a little bit about what it's like to live in a Korean home. So basically, the place that I live in is called an apartment. It's actually short form for apartment. So the apartment here and apartment in Singapore, what's the difference you might wonder? The name is the same, but the apartment in Korea is somewhat similar to actually a condominium standard in Singapore. Why would I say this way? Because you know in HDB flats, or HDB apartment in Singapore, you don't have like security guards, you don't have like restricted entry, and they don't have like um, all the stuff that you can press. I think in condominium, you can have like more high-tech stuff. The other difference that I wanted to talk about is the real estate system in this country is a bit confusing. To put it simply, we are renting this place with a huge deposit and we can stay for two years without paying monthly rent. But the thing is, not many people have this big and huge amount of money, right? So they borrow it from the bank. And in the end, you still have to pay monthly rent but to the bank, okay? So we are not rich people. We rent this place for two years. Hopefully, we can stay more than two years, I really really hope so. But this is sort of a simple explanation of um, Korean apartment and what it's like to live here. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? So let's start at the entrance. Go! Okay guys, so this is the entrance that you saw just now. So this is a place where you walk in through the door and look, this is a very special lock, right? You just have to push and then it opens. Ah, how cool is that? This is a very modern and new lock. We didn't buy it, it just came together with the apartment, yeah? Okay? To put it uh, as a note, throughout the video, I'm just gonna show you what I buy and what I bring from the previous house and the price will be all just tagged to the picture, okay? So you can know how much I, it costs all together in the end. This is what I bought. Actually, it's just individual square. You can like fix it together. So the thing about interior shopping in Korea is you can buy it online and a lot of it is very affordable because I think just people like to decorate their house after COVID so it's a lot more accessible nowadays lah okay so this is what I bought so it makes it more modern but when you take your shoe turn in, you can turn, turn and then you walk in that's the main point okay that's the first part that I want to talk about and then in this entrance itself they have Two built-in cabinet. What I really like about Korea houses is they really, the modern and new ones are, there's a lot of mirrors. So basically, if you see here, it's mirrors. There's three full-length mirrors. You check out yourself and what you want to wear before you head out. This is the built-in cabinet that we have. So there, all the shoes are going to be here, obviously. And we decided to put our socks here. So because I don't like it when um, my naughty kind of wear a shoe and he'll be like, Bae! Give me socks! And then all the socks is inside the room. So I decided to change the position and put it here so he don't have to scream anymore. So when he screams, they get the sock, I'll be like, is that? Then he, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is how, um, how the shoe cabinet looks like. So as you can see, they have like one cupboard, two cupboard, one, two full size cupboard, and one half size, right? And this one is a half size cabinet, but it's not for shoes. What they did in this new apartment is, ta da! Even though there's space for shoes, they even provide like places for you to put like your umbrella and then other stuff that you can store like I don't know, shoe shoe cleaning wipes and stuff like that. I remember in my old place, we had to like stick stuff onto the door to put the umbrella and stuff. So it was very, it doesn't look nice like in the picture. So I really like this kind of thing. Okay? This is actually an automatic light. It will turn off the moment you step away from it. I forgot to say, there is two main area and three rooms and two bathrooms, okay? So after entering here, the first thing you will see is the first bathroom, which is also the guest bathroom and the bathroom that Mr. Naughty used. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Okay, so in this bathroom, the other bathroom is not very different also. It's quite similar. Ta-da! And what I think is very special about Korean cabinets in the toilet is they always have this thing. Because I've never seen this in any Singapore house, but what Korean like to do is they like to buy small towels. They like to roll it and they like to stack it like this. And after every single shower, they change their towel. I know it's very hygienic, but... We just don't do it in Singapore. We will keep using it and hang it outside. But this is how they sort of 
design the cabinets. It's quite similar in almost all the new apartments that you see. Most of the houses, if they have two bathrooms, usually one of the bathrooms has a bathtub. So this is the bathroom with the bathtub. So all this is built in, yeah? So this is built in, this is built in. This is also built in, but this wasn't here. So Marty decided his own interior of his bathroom. He decided to put this. Does it look like fit? Yes. He decided to install this dispenser thing. I think it's just easier. Oh, do you print this yourself? Oh, you printed it yourself. Okay, so he printed this and he put it here. So this is sort of the area for the bathroom. And of course, just a simple toilet. And what I like about this is last time, our old house don't have. But look, here you can put handphone shooting halfway and then you need to clean your ass but you got nowhere to put the phone. Usually I put here in my old house but now because you got this, you can put it here, okay? So this is all for this toilet. Let's move on to the next room. Okay, so the first room that I will be introducing to you is actually Naughty's working room. So what's so good about um, rooms in the new modern houses nowadays is they have a Panel system which controls all the lighting. No more light switch or panel system. To turn on the light here, you just press this and voila, the light is on. In this room, as you can see, it's very, very boyish. <laughs> Naughty just works here. He has two movable tables whereby he can lift up and down. This one is the same, it's from Desco, okay? This one is from Desco, so it's a very popular brand in Korea. I don't know if it's popular in Singapore or overseas, but you can move up and down. So it depends on how you want to work. Uh. This is how you use the movable tables. I wouldn't say it's very cheap, but apparently to notice it's very, very useful. And then he has like a board to brainstorm. This one can flip in and out. I won't flip it also. I don't want to spoil something. And this is his brand. Because a lot of you who have watched us often, you will know what he does. And this is his brand that he created many, many years ago. In this built-in cabinet, I was very sorry to him, but then I think it was built for clothes. That's the reason why I put our winter clothes here. So I believe in Singapore, you don't have this issue it's because you don't have winter clothes, right? But in Korea, you have so much winter clothes and winter clothes are so fat, right? But you don't know where to keep it. So there's always a room that even though there's a lot of other things inside, there's always clothes as long as there's a cabinet. So this is where we keep our winter clothes and then the rest is just all his stuff. I will not open it. The special thing about here is as a content creator, uh, Mr. Naughty here has a camera fridge. You must be thinking, wow, this guy is so rich, need a fridge for his camera. But it's actually to prolong the life of his lenses because if you put it outside, if it's humid, inside you might have fungus. So this one sort of UG, what's UG? Maintains the temperature of the lenses so that you can keep the lenses longer and you know that DSLR cameras, the lenses are not cheap, right? So this is actually very useful and he keeps all like our gold inside also. You don't have much. Oh, you don't have gold. Let me go to the two main area and show you what's interesting there. Let's go. Okay guys, so the next place that I'll be introducing to you is our living room. So this is actually the main, main area of the house because all the guests will be here and I also work here, Naughty also works here sometime. The first thing that I would want to talk about is the magnificent view. This was like one of the selling points of this house and why we really wanted to come here because in our old house, when you look outside, it was just another building but here, you can see like all the other apartments, you can see the cars jamming, in Seoul because there's so many cars and what's good is you can see the modern side which is a lot of apartment and this side the not so developed part of Korea just because we want to enjoy this view we decided to put this table here it's basically like a long table whereby um, you know you can work at so a lot of people who came to our house previously we also had the same setup at the window and everybody's like, oh, like my friend came and she's like, oh, me, it looks like cafe. Like, it looks like a cafe. Because you know, in cafe, usually you have a long table and you have high chairs. So we brought this from the old place, but we decided to put it here because we want to look at the view and we want to work at the same time. So we also put a working light here. Ta da! At night, we can also work. Because when it's at night, the view is another chef's kiss. So this is the cafe space, sort of. If you wake up in the morning or at night, you can sit down, work, and then sort of brain stuff and stuff. It helps me a lot because I work here. Not all the time, 50% of the time here. But 50% of the time, I'll be working 
here the difference in korea and singapore is in korea a lot of um families sit on the floor even though as they have so far Sometimes they sit on the floor to eat, sometimes they sit on the floor to have coffee and stuff like that And that's what you see in dramas also right But in Singapore, if you sit on the floor, my mom will scold me Because they'll be like, hey your body's so oily, you sit on the floor, you my point oily oily I'm not very sure if your mom's like that, but my mom's like that, she's a clean freak So she don't let us sit on the floor In Korea, we have like a big shiktak, like a dining table I mean, it doesn't apply to all Korean families But of course there's some Korean families with dining table but this dining table, because we didn't want to throw away, it's expensive here yeah, than this one. We decided to bring it here and we decided to put it in front of the sofa. And this table is so cool because it can extend. So it fits in like that. Ta-da! Actually, firstly, it's a four-person table, but by opening it, you can sit six people. I think it's kind of a different way of dining experience, and I like to sit on the floor, so I don't know why. It's just me, maybe. So that's the reason why we decided to bring this table here and then eat like this. The second part that I really, 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 really like is the sofa! The reason why I want to talk about this so far is because actually I wasn't thinking to talk much about it but um, our friends Jin and Hattie, they are very 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 nice and very very tall So Mr. Jin Woo can touch our ceiling without tiptoeing, okay? When he said it, he was like, babe, hey, we need this sofa, you know why? Because he's so tall and what's so cool about the sofa is There is an extra headrest So if you're sitting like that and you're feeling, oh my neck is tired, you can lift it up and you can rest this one has a lot of um, levels also. You can do it this way, that you can lie down all the way when you're putting a mask. And then you can just chill like that. And what I really like about this sofa is this L shape. I really wanted to get L shape because I think in my old place, it was an L shape sofa and I really miss having to sit like this. But now, me and Naughty can sit. Both of us can lie down on the sofa without worrying about it. And the last part about what's so good about this sofa is actually waterproof. What's so good about it? I don't know. I never sprinkled water on my sofa before, so but I just like this material, okay? Velvety, velvety. And you would think like, oh, maybe it's very expensive. I wouldn't say it's so expensive for this sofa. It's quite affordable because of Onure Chip, which is something, which is the app that we buy all the interior from, like I mentioned before. And because Naughty was looking at this, then I remember to talk about it. But basically, here in this house, because it's rented, right? We are not allowed to sort of drive or hit any nails into the wall. That's the reason why we decided to hang it. Can you see the string? Okay. Korea is so smart whereby they this they sort of um came out with an idea to hang photos like this whereby you can just buy one of it so that you can hang the photo behind. That's how smart Korea is okay. So we decided to print our wedding photo in Korea first. Then we did this the tea ceremony. Then Singapore wedding. So that's the reason why it's in this photo. After this part, I wanted to talk about the TV. As you can see, our TV is on the wall. And just now I mentioned you cannot put any nails, right, in the wall. But then you must be thinking, how come they can hang the TV? That's why Korea is smart. They design it in a way whereby like, I mean, I saw the Ajashi do it, but I don't know how he did it. He just hangs something on it, and then he hang the TV on that something, and he stays. How cool is that? So, the TV that we got is from Samsung and it's the frame TV, 75 inch. It looks like a frame. Ah, it looks like a big wedding photo frame, right? We set it in a way that you can change so we can always see different photos. And then, this speaker, it came together with it. I think it makes it a lot more spacious. We really needed to do this because we were very annoyed when we had the TV table in our old house. So we were like, okay, let's just invest this time and we decided to hang it onto the wall and it looks so clean and our robot vacuum cleaner can just walk. Okay, that's the living room for you. I wouldn't talk so much about here is because uh, we brought this from our old house and I don't know where to put it so I just squeeze it here but thankfully it looks fine. This is the whole view of um, the living room. It's my favorite space. Hope you get some inspiration on designing your living room like that. Now let's head to the kitchen. This is my lovely kitchen and you think, how come it's not Jeanette's favorite place? Well, maybe because I don't cook that much. I will try in the future, I hope. Because I always give an excuse that, oh, my old kitchen was not so nice and stuff. But now my new kitchen is nice, so I'll make 
something out of it, okay? This is the kitchen that I wanted to introduce to you. Firstly, our fridge. You have been seeing it very often, but this is a very smart fridge. Very, very big fridge that stores a lot, a lot of stuff. Also, from Samsung, it's kind of messy right now. But what's so good about this fridge is because it's connected to a water system in the house, you can have automatic refill of water. And you also have automatic refill of the ice. So basically, you don't have to like fill water and then like try to push out the ice cube. So this is was a really, really good investment. Yeah. And this side is actually... I mean, Naughty sort of suggested this place. He's like, let's have a coffee corner since we drink coffee a lot. And then this was kindly bought to us from uh, my parents-in-law. They bought this machine for us and then it came together this and we decided to des I decided to design it like that. This is just like a coffee space whereby you can come here, make your coffee, make your drink. And then we have like drinks here, so I just had it in mind, that's why we don't want to do it. But what I really like about this kitchen is, I have been wanting to have this kind of shape is, this is called a island kitchen. Island table. This table, if it cuts off like that, it's a kitchen. But because it comes out like that, this one is called a island. What I like about it is, it gives a little separation between the living room and the kitchen, right? So, and there is a lot more, um, how do I say, cabinet space in this house. And all the cabinet space, I think it's all in the kitchen. So you put all your stuff in this bottom and all this is built in, yeah? What's so special about this kitchen that I want to talk about is these two things. We got this induction, I'm sure you've seen it before from our old house. And induction really sort of changed our life in a sense that a lot of things heat up faster and we cook it a lot faster. And this is the newest addition to our kitchen which is a what's this ah this this washing machine actually we were thinking like nah we don't need to live with it and stuff but then after being here for one week we were like ah i miss the this washing machine and thankfully our first brother-in-law and first sister-in-law decided to give this to us so we got it from samsung and it is life-saving we can just put everything inside and then just close it put soap and this washing liquid close and then just start it and then everything will be clean this one is also from Honore Chip. It's so cool, even though they don't have a dishwashing like, not dishwashing thing, there's something to drain the water out of the wash dishes. You can hang it onto the window. How cool is that, right? Okay, so this is just a simple of breakdown of what my kitchen looks like. I don't do much thing here, but I try to keep it as clean as possible, okay? So, next to the kitchen is our utilities room. Okay, so you might be wondering what a utilities room is. It's not for storeroom, okay? In this utilities room, we have our washing machine and dryer. So what's so good about Samsung is they have a system whereby you can stack it together and you can sort of connect both of them. Here is the washing machine. You wash, finish the clothes ready. They call you, you come out and you put it inside and you dry the clothes. A lot of you must be thinking, huh, why do you need dryer? Okay, in Korea, you need a dryer is because in winter, you cannot hang your clothes outside. And there's no system of hanging your clothes outside to dry the clothes. You either hang it indoor or you put it in the dryer and this is life changing. In Singapore, I always think like, oh, you don't need it. And all the aunties like, huh, you found like a dryer, then after that, it becomes small and all that. Yes, it might be, but then it's closed. You have to change it once in a while, right? Another part of it is we do recycling because in Korea, we have to recycle stuff. So this one's for vinyl and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't need to teach you that because you don't have it in Singapore, right? But this is very, very iconic of Korea, how they sort of sort their rubbish so that they can throw it away and then you don't have to pay for waste because in Korea, if you want to throw anything, you have to pay. So if you don't pay, you have to recycle. Good system. But I don't know if it works in Singapore or not. Now, let's head to the next room. Okay guys, so I remember I told you I had three rooms, right? But this room is kind of like an empty room that like I didn't design so I'm not going to talk about it. Basically, this is a really empty room with no built-in cabinets, no nothing. So we left everything here that we are not using first. So hopefully, maybe next time when we have a kit, we can design this room, then I'll talk more about it, okay? So now, let's go to the last room of this house, which is my next favorite place because I sleep there. Let's go. Okay, so this is the entrance to the Ampang. Ampang is the bedroom. And then I just decided, decorated this nicely. Yay! To check out my outfit. So let's get into the bedroom. Ta-da! Everything from here, most of it came from our old house. So this is our bedroom with our bed frame. I won't talk so much about it because this is from um, a brand that doesn't exist in Singapore. It's from Hansen. Very, very well known in Korea. And why we bought this is because we can adjust the the degree of the light. I love orange light. Okay, so this is our bed 
and there is a little cool cabinet okay so this wasn't here naturally but i was thinking because naughty always wanted this like glass thingy that can see all his watches and stuff oh i think what i'm waiting for is here I've been wanting to change mattress for really long because the mattress that we have on top of our bed is from Noon Sun so so long ago and it really deflated already so that's the reason why I got a new mattress. Let's bring it in. <laughs> okay, let's but I didn't I need nothing to help me. <laughs> How do you open this? <laughs> Unboxing time! Let me take scissors. <laughs> wow, what's that? Cover? Oh the cover for the top. So I've been wanting to get a topper because ours is so old already. Oh, it's topper. Yeah, it's a topper mattress. You know because in Korea, they use it interchangeably. So I wanted to get this for some time already. And then I was searching around internet and I decided to get this brand. Didn't know it would be so good quality. It's Korean yeah. brand. Yeah, it's Korean brand. I open. Oh, it's not connected. Yeah. Ooh, how does it work? Ah! You have to put it inside. Yeah, of course. Oh. So for this uh, topper mattress, usually sometimes in Korea it's connected right but this is for easier keep So that's the reason why they mm -hmm. sort of put it separately and then when you want to use oh. it, you can just put it all into this sheet We decided to get this in king size actually because our bed is queen size but I was thinking of changing to a king size bed so I decided to Oh you know what it's feel what it's like to get a king size mattress first but our bed frame is king, up to king size. Oh yes, our bed frame is up to king size. So yeah. let's bring it in. Okay, let's change the mattress. <laughs> Goodbye. Bobby, our bed is upside down. Huh? My logo is upside down. Hana, do. Huh? Wait, I think it's like this. Ooh. How's it? Two years, I want to change it for very long already, but finally I decided to change it. Oh yeah, then we don't need to put the cover because it has the cover with it. Right. But it feels like a bit floating. Uh. We need to change the below one. Maybe. Yeah, the bottom one. We need to change it to the king size yep. maybe. That is um, just nice in time for the bed part that I wanted to show you. Apart from this main area in the bedroom, let me show you the secret room. <coughs> okay, so this is sort of the dressing table that we have. There's also a built-in cabinet where we store our clothes and skincare. So it's kind of clean, this is not this stuff, my stuff. And the secret room I want to show you is... Every girl's favourite dream. Ta -da! My own mini walk-in wardrobe. Okay, so we put our clothes in here also. What I really like about this space is it sort of organizes things very well. In the previous house, we fold all our clothes and because of that, it's hard to... I mean, there's a lot of job when it comes to laundry, you have to keep folding. But because we have a small dressing room now, we can just hang everything on the hangers. Every girl's dream. Hopefully next time, I'll have one for all my bags. Although I only have two bags. Okay, so it's the very simple bathroom that we have. So this is the next bathroom. And what's really nice about this space is this one. The only thing that I want to show you is this place. This thing. Ray shower! It's built in guys. Even though it was a bit spoiled when we came, we decided to change it and voila. We can shower like it's raining every day. This comes to the end of my house tour. I get it, it might be a little long and I blabber quite a bit. It's because I want, it's my first house tour video and I'm excited to show you. Oh yeah, and we have built-in icons so I forgot to talk about it. There's one here and there's one in the room. Samsung! If you're a Singaporean living in Singapore and you never come to Korea before or you don't have thoughts about living in Korea, you might not know about the system. That's why I decided to explain a little bit more. But if you want to know more about how we design the house, how's the interior like, how is shopping like, where do you get your goods and stuff, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And but thank you so much once again for joining me on this video. Please stay tuned for more vlogs in this place and around this neighborhood because we love it so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye!